All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Joy, and welcome back once again to the hunt. I, I I already mentioned before in previous videos that I am dead set on finishing this game, and that's exactly what I'm hopefully gonna do right now. I have about eighty minutes of footage of me failing, and after the second update, there's been two updates. First off, there's a save point here, a little foxy, with which I am very happy. And the forest should be a bit different qua layout. And you're probably going to see me fail a couple of times because it's still not going to be easy. And I don't want it to be easy. That is fine. Yes, I still got to go get the siren shell in case you forgot. Which I already have, but I need to go through the forest anyway. So... I don't know if I'm going to put that fail compilation at the beginning or the end of this video. I'll see about that. But I see a huge difference. Like, the paths are way bigger right now. Because the problem that I had mainly was the gremlins, those evil forest fuckers. They would close me in and I had nowhere else to go. Like, it didn't matter how careful I was, I would not be able to escape those guys as soon as they came near me. Simply because the path wouldn't allow me. It would force me either onto the grass. Or some other way. Right, I'm, I'm gonna be focused now. Because I gotta make it. I almost feel embarrassed that the, that the developer actually had to make it easier for me. Because I spent so much time trying this. I made it up until the point where I found the key. I don't know if I show that. I, I don't know what I'm going to show in the compilation yet, so sorry if I'm kind of repeating myself here. Boop. Oh no, get out of my way. Get out of my way, bro. I don't need you. You're going to stay away from me. Because what I didn't know is, and this is just something I suspect, is the long grass will instantly trigger the guys, and the short grass will just sort of signal them. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this is how far I made it last time. And I would always get into trouble after this part. Yes, there we go. That's the letter again. I'm going to read that because I'm not sure. I don't remember if I read that in other parts. It's another entry. Today's date is written. Acts log XXXXXXX. Now I'm really in a bind. How am I supposed to get out of this place with such weight? I can barely dodge the monsters as it is, but now. I can finally rest for a bit now. I found a hunting lodge. Not sure what's doing all the way out here, but it seems safe enough. Maybe if I get a few hours rest, I can figure out how to escape the forest. Then I... Dot dot dot. I swear I hear voices not far off. They sound human too. I know this is a forest of illusions and such. But, if it's really other people, then maybe they can help me. I'll lock it up in the cabinet. I'm sure I'll be safe there. Obtained entry from x -Log. Yeah, I suspect the voices he heard were the pumpkins. Maybe the pumpkins are just one big illusion. Maybe I'm just tricking myself and this forest isn't even real. Something shines out of the darkness. It seems it was hidden by the entry. Cabinet key. Yes, I would be here. I believe this used to be longer in the previous version. And a forest monster would come up from behind me and I would be completely helpless, stuck in just a tiny, tiny space. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind things being challenging at all. I don't mind mechanisms being unforgiving and I don't mind... Ooh. No, I don't mind insta-deaths, I don't mind things being unforgiving and I don't mind things being... Uh... Oh, no, 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 oh crap. Okay, that was my bad, my bad. Nothing bad about that. I was trying to say something, but I forgot. But yeah, what I wanted to say is I don't mind games being challenging, being unforgiving, and I don't mind things being luck-based. However, I do mind if you put those into a combination that just sums up frustration. You know, not that this game is entirely luck-based. I'm not claiming that. Absolutely not. The only thing that is luck-based is the monsters here. The tree guys. Get away from me. I'm I'm deliberately avoiding those grass patches as well. Because I really do think that those are luring the monsters my way. Sort of. I had no idea there were various degrees. I'm not sure if there's various degrees of triggering here. 
Stay away from me. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna burn this forest down with you and your whole family in it. Alright, we are back at the ladder and the key and the storm outside is picking up, so sorry if you can hear that. I'm always having trouble f filtering that out, I mean... I, I usually end up sounding like a like I'm in a tin can or something. Alright, we can do this. Last time I had trouble finding my way out of here, finding the right direction. I would always end up turning back and that's not what I want. I want to make progress. So, I'm just gonna try... Find my way. Calmly. Quietly. And controlled. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way here or just... Back. Because the force has changed, I don't recognize that much anymore. I, sh I s had sort of an idea of where to go. But now I kind of got to refine it. But I believe I'm threading on new territory here. I sure do hope so. Get off my path. I swear to God, man, you go away. Did I make it? Did I make it? Oh, don't fuck with me now, game. Don't fuck with me now. Fox. Oh, foxy, foxy. Jeez, what took you so long? Oh, shut up, you. I got here in less than a minute. Well, for all your meandering in that forest, I hope you at least found something to show for it. I, as a matter of fact, I did. I found a key. Finally. Hallelujah. I get, I get another episode out of this game. Yay. Thank you so much, developer, for helping me out and making it easier for me because apparently I'm too stupid to do difficult things. But it's okay. God, I'm so relieved right now. I, I seriously thought that I was going to be stuck there forever. I, I had no idea. I was actually afraid I might not be able to continue the game there. But I made it. The other version is still up, by the way, so if you think you're more intelligent than me, then you can still use the... Or not really intelligence, just better motorical skills. Nothing but dust and grime. Well, that's not useful. The uh, I, I wanted to say the old version is still up, like with the previous forest. There appears to be a music box. Not yet. What is that? Slip of paper. Yes, I want to read that. Something appears to be coughed into the seat. Don't... Italy. Some of the words have faded. Continue. Heads up. Really? Don't Italy? What was that supposed to be? Okay, now I'm gonna pick forget it. Okay, now I can actually move away from the note. See, there's a book over here. Where? Do I get points for this? Like poking in the brain and poking that dead animal in that other game? Okay, no, maybe not. Sealed tightly with deer skin. Oh no. God, that's cool. Curtis is stuck to the window. You can't look out here. Before I activate anything, because I know there's multiple endings. There is different ways. Oh god, that's a skin as well. Cabinet key. Ew. What? There's a spear stuck in the stack side. Takes me, yes. Damn it. Got worn spear. Okay, so that's another me. You can't look at it for long. The sight is too unsettling. But what about that squirrel pinned up on the wall? Okay. I don't care about the squirrel, I guess. Well, I got, I got a spear. I'm, I'm gonna go outside and save just in case I trigger something here that isn't... I guess you didn't let them get the best of you. I want to get a different file. Okay, I'll, I'll use a different file the next time. Right, what should I do first? The music box or the book? 
let's play it. That is extremely unsettling. A big book on legendary creatures sits here. It seems to be affixed to the table. Which chapter do you want to read? Cerebrus Basilisk Gremlins White Stack. Let's start from the top. Cerebrus. Cerebrus is the three-headed dog that guards the entrance to Tartarus. The three heads keep a constant watch over the souls that enter and exit the underworld. Tartarus is the underworld, by the way. I love mythology. However, while the creature is indeed fearsome and dangerous in its own right, if aggravated, it will easily fight amongst its own heads. Typically, this occurs most often when they are eating. Wait a minute, this monster- I've seen this monster before. Wasn't this one in the fire cave? Maybe? Alright, so I gotta remember that. So, it will fight amongst its own heads when it's eating. I'm gonna- I'm gonna write this down somewhere. Hold on. No, let's- let's- Read the next thing. Which chapter? Basilisk. Tell me about the basilisk. The basilisk is a fearsome monster that can turn a man into stone with a single glance. Can it turn stags into stone? As one of the most feared monsters in the world, very few have seen it and lived to tell the tale. The basilisk is said to sleep so deeply that it could be killed in its sleep and not know it. To evade this problem, the basilisk's, basilisk's body is covered with several bells, which cause anything to hear, even the smallest chime, to awaken. It could be killed in its sleep. So, Basilisk killed in sleep as long as I can remove those bells in some way. However, the Basilisk, while fearsome, is not without weakness. It fears the weasel above other things that it is the only creature that can kill it and cannot be changed by its stare. A weasel. Weasel. Alright, good to know. This is giving me information. Oh god, I just remembered I'm probably gonna have to go back through the forest. Let's let's read about these gremlins. Gremlins. Creatures that in fortune or miss. Why did the music stop? This page has been torn out. You bastards. Gremlins are just forest assholes. That's the only description I'm gonna give to it. Forest assholes. Okay, the white stag is a prized creature whose coat is paler than moonlight. It's one of the most beautiful and one of the most clever creatures in the entire world. This rare creature is more cunning and evasive than any other in the world. It's said that whoever manages to capture or kill such a creature shall be named the greatest hunter in the world. So that's what my hunter is after. Many have tried to hunt it, but only one man can have the honor of claiming its head. Dot dot. Yeah, that's bad news, isn't it? So, let's see. Anything else to discover in this little house? I'm glad I could use the cabinet key. Yes, I know. I don't like activate that. It goes there automatically. Oh, what's that? Is that something? I can't see really what's going on, but it almost looks like teeth. Is it... Can I use anything on it? Let's see. Looks sturdy, but has a bitty, pretty big crack in the shaft. Might break with too much stress. Okay. Oh, maybe I can kill the basilisk, basilisk with that. Perhaps, maybe? Because if I just manage to stab it with the spear and just kill it, and I don't need to touch any of the, any of the bells, it's filled with wheat. Oh, wheat. Nothing but dust and grime. All right. I think I got about everything here. What, what, what is about that duck? Is that a reference to something? I'm not getting it. I'm going to leave that playing. Oh, okay, good. I thought my mouse was in the screen for a second, but thankfully it's not. Alright, Mr. Fox. File 3. I'm gonna make a new save file just in case I forgot anything or did anything wrong here, because I got a feeling that this is a pretty important part in the game. But there already was a dead white stack. 
but now what am I supposed to do? Was I supposed to get something for me? I oh, I got the... Ca what did I what did I gain from this except for the Huh All right then maybe now I can bring the siren shell to the guy Oh god back here All right you assholes Just let me go about my way just let me do this Damn it fuck okay. Can I make it get Oh no I can't Never mind Thank you. Shoo! I'd like to think I'm almost there, but I still see those fuckers crawling around, so I assume not. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. But um, I think I'm beginning to recognize this spot, so that's good news, question mark. Doesn't mean I'm safe. Doesn't mean I'm safe just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away, you dick. Dick bag. You know what, are you... Oh, that was close. I really used to like trees. You know that? I really used to see them as a symbol of rest and calm. I made it. Oh my god. I made it back. Now I'm gonna save. There. There we go. Alright, pumpkin. And that's not a sweet nickname I have for you. That's just... Oh, you're back. Yes. So you find the siren shell, right? Yes, I find it right in my pocket. Great, go to the pond in the forest outside of your of our area, throw the shell into the water and call the siren. Where is that? Is that back out? Hurry so you can bring the water. Okay, I, gu I guess I need to be to the previous area now, where I can probably kill the basilisk. Probably. Possibly. And back through the grain fields. Luckily, these are still blooming. I mean, this looks like food, right? I'm not sure. If I'm, I'm not sure what pumpkins would eat. I assume they would mostly just need water. All right, we're back here. I heard knocking, I don't like that, I moved on. Who are back here? Alright, you. I'd go and look for water myself, but... Oh, whatever shall happen to our fields. You're right, is that the pond? I'm not sure. I am not sure. No, this is dead end. It's been a while, so I've forgotten what the maze looked like. What about you? The pumpkin appears to be singing to himself. Have a listen. Said for a kid, stood on a bridge. Where are you hiding? Where could you be? Her four chicks cried out. Listen carefully. Oh, yes, this. Yeah. Go away. No, no, never mind. I'm busy. I am too busy for your problems. Aren't you the one they strung up? Oh, well. i completely forgotten where I found this basilisk. Oh, I know where the pond is. It's at the beginning of this. I remember. I recall. I'm, I'm like using a lot of different files here because I don't want to mess up. I want to be able to get back to a moment before I messed up. So. Should you wish to call the water nymph, stand right of here and return what was birthed from the water. So, the shell. Filled with soot and ash. It's completely unfit to drink. Let's toss it in. You three in the shell. 
Is that my sweet water nymph? Who are you that would call upon the water nymphs? Wait, you? I don't know how you managed to survive from Diana's pool to my part of the forest. But you've got another thing coming if you think I'm going to help you. Besides, if it's water you're after, I can't do anything about that. You're a water nymph. I've already sent rain and fresh water out to this part of the forest. But it's so hot and so much ass gets in it that no one can drink it. Not even the plants. You see, there's a dragon that's sleeping in a cave near here. Yes, I knew. His presence is heating up the air while his constant snoring sends ash into the water. He needs to be woken up. But I don't know how. Oh, guess who's gonna have to do that? So you see, I can't help you. Even if I wanted to. So, be gone! Use that to reflect on what you got here in the first place. What got you here? Peeping Tom. Peeping Tom? Did she toss anything at me? A round mirror lies shattered on the ground where the water new threw it. Take a piece. Oh, is this how I can defeat the basilisk, perhaps? So you just, you just help the thing and you just... Okay, well, I guess I need to do something about that dragon here. I forgot where I could find it, but I assume it would be in the fire cave. I think I'm going to do a bit of a longer episode, by the way, because of all the missing episodes in between, because I got stuck. But that's alright. Hopefully I can catch up a little bit. Hmm. I've forgotten what this was, but I'm having a... I did not mean to do that. Where am I? Oh god, I rem no, I remember this place. This is not where I want to be at this point. This was a maze, right? No. No, thank you. God, it's extremely foggy or maybe just ashy out here. I don't know if it's just ash. Let's go down here. Because either... I assume the dragon would be here because of the lava and stuff. Yes, this guy. Walk in dark spots. The rest is incomprehensible. Yes, I made it past this one before, so I should be able to do that without too much trouble. Just calm and collected. You can't even stand on the other one. I've probably shown you that in previous episodes. Ooh. I hope it's not going to send me back again, because last time it sent me back saying it was too hot to continue. Alright, up here. Yes. And then this. The ground is far too hot, you can't go past this point. I was afraid of that. Fine, I'll just go back the regular way. Guess I'll need to find a basilisk. I assume it actually might be in the maze that I didn't want to go into first. Alright, let's give that a try then, I suppose. See, it was to the left of here. Either this one or the one above it. No, there it is. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. I recall being chased down and murdered horribly, but perhaps this time I will find something? I don't know if there were any other caves. No, I remember... It. Uh... I honestly have no recollection of where to go. Oh no. Dead end. Dead end is bad news. That's just the way back up, right? It is. I figured I'd just check. 
You know, maybe it was the way up to the basilisk, but I have no idea. <laughs> that even that circled me around. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna leave that there. I I completely forgot where I found that basilisk. Was it was it way way back? I don't know if I can go. What is that? Was it here? Yes. Sadly sleeping. Approach it. No. I I want to use my spare on it, but I don't know how to do that. It seems that body is covered in bells. Leave it alone. Cut rope around monster's neck. Get out. Okay, let's try it again. Let's approach it. And let's try to cut the rope. Maybe that will kill us as well, but... I got no clue. Let's see, so the... I got either a weasel to be able to do this. No, no, don't take one. No, 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 don't take one. Don't. No, come on. <laughs> right, approach it. Don't take the bell. I think this is going to result in my death anyway, but I need to try it. You dropped the shard, it broke into countless pieces. You managed to sever part of the rope. Seems like you take one of the bells very easily. Take it. Really? Yes. Try it. It easily slips off the severed rope. Oh no, deep beautiful chime echoes from the bell. Dude, run! Stop! Run! I think I need to do this and then f somehow get a weasel. But where would I find myself a weasel? See, I can't go back up there. No, this is really the area I have to work with. So, did I ever find some type of weasel around here? Weasels live in burrows, don't they? Don't they? I don't know that much about weasels, but I might be able to find one in that hole. So maybe I should explore that a little bit further. No, not this way. I went the entirely wrong way. Yes, there we are. Now, I remember I got murdered at some point in this one, but... I guess I need to check it out. Weasel buddy. Maybe if you had something to, lure, to lure it with. Oh, okay, that killed me. All right, but I am kind of out of time anyway, so I guess I will figure that out in the next episode. I don't know if or how or when I'm going to put up that fill compilation because it's a lot of footage to go through. Maybe I'll include it in this one. Maybe I'll show it in some other ways. But anyway, I am finally back with this game. I am very excited about it. Um, by the way, I tried to play the big elk, but it kept crashing on me. It, said, it already mentioned that it had trouble with Windows 8, so I might not be able to play that. I'm going to try and fiddle around with that for a bit longer, but um, yeah, that's it actually. So yeah, I'm going to be continuing this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!